Let's configure Mercusis AC10 Wireless Dual Band Router. In this video, configure Mercusis AC10 Wireless Dual Band Router. First, we will take a quick look at the device specification and features. Next, we will have a short demonstration on how to access Mercusis Simulator and how to configure actual Mercusis AC10 wireless dual band router we will then verify our configuration with some test clients mercusis ac10 support wireless standards for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz based from its official website this device supports up to 300 mbps for 2.4 gigahertz and up to 867 Mbps for 5 GHz. Of course, actual throughput varies as it factors interference, chosen channel congestion, and client device capability, for example. It has 4 5 dBi fixed omni antennas. It has 1 non-gigabit WAN port and 2 non-gigabit LAN ports. For device features, it supports router mode and access point mode. On its one interface, aside from static IP and dynamic IP, it supports PPPoE, L2TP, and PPTP connection. Other notable features is the support of parental access control and remote management. It has stateful packet inspection firewall capabilities and you can create wireless guest networks. Let's have a short demonstration on how to access the Mercurius simulator. Then we will proceed to our actual device for first time access. Then we will have the operational modes and the configuration of wireless. You don't need to buy Mercurius device yet in order to have a glimpse of the device features. So if you have an internet connection, you can browse to the Mercurius simulator such as for our AC10. So you could go to mercurius.com forward slash simulator forward slash ac10 dash router forward slash index dot html as you can see we have our mercusis ac10 which is the correct model for our demonstration we have the network map which shows our ac10 is a router in this topology we're in the one interface connects to the internet and the lan interface connects to the client Next, if we go to the internet, so we have some options for internet connection type. So we have dynamic IP, static IP, PPPoE, L2TP, and PPTP. You have some functionalities to clone the router MAC address as well. Next, you have wireless and you have support for 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz. And you can also enable or create separate network or what we call guest network. And finally, you have advanced wherein the bulk of configuration is here. You can change the operation mode from router mode to access point mode. You have some network settings for the WAN interface and the LAN interface as well as configuration of the DHCP server. We have some wireless here for more configuration about our wireless. So we have wireless schedule and some additional settings. We have not forwarding. We have parental controls, QS security settings such as firewall and other settings such as IP and MAC binding. We have support for IPv6 and finally you have some system configuration such as configuration of the password, the system logs, the time, and checking of diagnostics as well as reboot and LED control. You can also browse to the access point mode simulator. So mercusis.com forward slash simulator forward slash ac10 dash ap 
forward slash index.html. So in access point mode, you'll notice if you go to the internet, it has only LAN connection. And if you go to the system, so you'll see the operation mode is in access point mode. So therefore, you'll need an extra router. So this will be your Mercurius connecting to the existing wired network while making this existing wired network a wireless one because Mercurius AC10 supports wireless connection on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz as an access point this time. So this time, I am now connected to an actual Mercurius AC10 and the default IP is 192.168.1.1. So this computer is connected to one of the LAN ports. So you have two non-gigabit LAN ports. So this computer is connected to that one and it acquires an IP address and therefore I could go to 192.168.1.1. So we are here in a sort of a setup wizard. So if you scroll down, you don't seem to find any way to exit this setup wizard. So we have to go through the wizard steps or processes. So first is to create an administrator password. And if you click to create a new password, you will be given the conditions so must contain no spaces must be 6 to 32 characters long and must contain at least two types of the following characters so letter numbers and symbols let's fulfill the requirement so i will type in quirinity one two three so you have letters and numbers so let's retype our password so let's take a look if we have typed correctly and yes they match and let's click let's get started and we are here on the second one which is to select our time zone okay so from here we could already see that we have the option to skip this quick setup but let us go through the setup process instead so for our learning so next is select your time zone so select the appropriate time zone in your area or country or where you are or where this device is located so for example i will select the plus eight Kuala Lumpur Singapore click next so the internet port is disconnected, it's by design, so there is no connection currently to my one port. So let's skip. So we'll not try to retry because there is really certainly no connection to my one port for now. So let's click the skip. And we could see the next setting will be to personalize wireless configuration or settings. So let us change the SSID and password for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless. So for simplicity, I will simply change Mercusis to the Inquirinity name. And let's just remove this number, 220E. So the password will be more simple. So 128. So Inquirinity. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And for our 5 gigahertz, so simply in Quirinity underscore 5G, I'm okay with that. And the password will still be the same. Okay, so that will be for our wireless settings. So let's click next. And it will ask us to confirm our settings. So that will be our time zone as for an example. And the wireless settings 2.4 is on and 5 gigahertz is on and we have the ssid and password for that let's click next to confirm the settings and it will apply the settings so checking internet connection this will fail because we don't have any cable that is connected to our one port so that is okay so it tells us that the internet connection is not set up successfully due to the following reasons so it could be your cable 
so yes it could be our cable because we don't have a connection to that one so it's okay we don't need to try again let's skip the no internet connection for now and we are here to our main mercusis ac10 page okay so what will i do now is i will connect a cable in real time to our one port see if we could acquire an ip address so in the internet connection type it's dynamic ip and in the advanced if you take a look at the current operation mode we are on the router mode so the wizard was actually configuring in operation mode router mode instead of an access point mode so let me connect the cable to our internet provider or router and there you go there is a connection detected and we have an ip address of a private ip address but what's important is our one ip is connected or one connection is connected and we go to the advanced and verify system diagnostics and let's ping quadruple eight to verify if we have really an internet connection so let's click start and yes there is a connection or there is a reply to quadruple eight let's try domain name this time so triple w facebook.com as an example of domain to ping so click start and yes there is a connection to www.facebook.com let's test our wi-fi password is one two three four five six seven eight and let's click connect and yes we are able to connect and let's check our ip address and yes we have an ip address let's test our 5 gigahertz this time so the same password one two three four five six seven eight and click connect and yes we are connected and we also got an ip address so in this video configure mercuses ac10 wireless dual band router we did go through some quick specs and features of mercuses ac10 for now we have used the quick setup wizard to configure our dual band wireless and we have tested that we are able to connect to our 2.4 and 5 gigahertz ssid expect more videos about this device as we dig deeper into more configuration i hope you find this video helpful and useful thank you for watching